All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green, GrimGreen.com back here today. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have something kind of important that I wanted to talk about. It's a news-related item, and it's a news-related item that is directly connected to the FDA, to the Nicopier lawsuit, right to be smoke-free association lawsuit that is happening right now with the FDA. This is something we have talked about in the past. It's something that we did a big fundraiser for in the past as well, and that time has come again. We as an industry are literally suing the FDA, which takes A, time, and B, money. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link down in the description to the GoFundMe for hashtag fund the suit. I'm just gonna read this pitch really quickly that Azim, one of the lawyers on the lawsuit from the law firm of Keller and Heckman sent over to me. It is hashtag fund the suit. So it says in 2016, the FDA extended its tobacco product authority to cover vapor products, including e-liquids and devices, but instead of creating actual science-based regulations, they applied all of the old tobacco rules, including a virtually impossible pre-market approval process that will decimate the industry and bans on truthful statements and free samples. But the industry fought back. The Right to Be Smoke-Free Coalition was formed, the first industry-wide organization designed to challenge unconstitutional laws targeting the vapor industry. In 2005, the coalition successfully defeated the state of Indiana, which tried to ban e-liquids. In 2016, right after the FDA's deeming rule was published, the coalition filed suit in Washington, D.C., joining Nicopier Labs, challenging the rule of the Tobacco Control Act. In 2017, the court in D.C. ruled in favor of the FDA. It says it's an unfortunate but not totally unexpected result at the district court level. These types of administrative law cases are almost always appealed, which is where we are today, and we need your help to hashtag fund the suit. And this is something that we've been talking about in the vlog over and over again, but it says we know what's happening right now. The public health organizations and the media have unleashed an all-out war against our industry. Fear-mongering articles are published every day, scaring not only smokers away from vapor products, but also pressuring FDA to come after vapor companies. Well-intentioned efforts by vapor advocates to change the law have also regrettably failed. And this isn't necessarily Necessarily the vapor advocates failing us. An example is that Cole Bishop amendment. This is something that we were pushing and they completely, they completely took all of the vape language out of it. So it's not that we're being failed by the vapor advocates. Vaping is being failed by the system. On top of that, the FDA is coming after easy targets in the industry, making it seem like everyone is simply out to get kids hooked. That is why taking the fight to the FDA is so critical and why every vapor and vapor business needs to chip in on this. So it goes on to say the right to be smoke free appeal is focusing on three issues important to all vapors and vapor businesses. Number one, we all know vapor products do not contain tar or ash or produce smoke or carbon monoxide, but it's against the law for vapor companies to say that. This subject has been brought up very frequently. I think it was brought up in the last vlog. It's definitely going to be brought up in the next vlog, but the FDA has a gag order in place for vapor companies that they are not even allowed to say that these products don't contain tar, which they do not. They do not contain ash, which they do not, and they do not produce smoke or carbon monoxide, which they do not. They do none of those things, but we're not allowed to say that because of the FDA. It says this hurts consumers who can't get the information they need about these life-saving products. The coalition is fighting for the constitutional First Amendment right of vapor businesses to make truthful statements about their products. It goes on to say, as we all know, the sampling process, tasting different flavors and trying different nicotine, PG and VG levels and different devices is necessary for adults looking to transition from smoking. But the law bans these samples. It forces retail to charge for samples, which creates another unnecessary, you know, hurdle between smokers and vaping and creates another burden on vapors and vape shops. It says the coalition is fighting for the vapor retail owner's right to provide free samples to adults 
also protected by the First Amendment. Truthful statements. The facts matter. It says, unlike cigarettes, which were all grandfathered in, and overall, these FDA deeming regulations, the FDA deeming rule, it almost seems like they were custom tailored to specifically fit the needs of big tobacco. Even the FDA itself estimates that 97% of vapor manufacturers will go out of business, according to the FDA themselves. The coalition argues argues that the law actually requires FDA to tailor the process to make it more feasible for vapor products. So it wraps up by saying an appeal is well underway. The FDA and the attorneys at Keller and Heckman have already submitted their briefs and now await for the Court of Appeals to schedule an oral argument in the fall. The coalition needs the vaping community's support to see this all the way through, possibly all the way to the Supreme Court. So let's fight and win this thing. Let's help hashtag fund the suit. So like I said, I'm going to put a link down in the description. GoFundMe slash fund the suit. All of this money is going directly to the Right to Be Smoke Free Coalition. And I'll tell you, I never thought in a thousand years that I would be part of a lawsuit where we are suing the federal government, but I got to tell you, feels pretty good, man. Like I've said in the past, I believe in vaping. I believe in this lawsuit and I believe in us. I believe in us as a community and I believe in us as an industry. So one last time, I'm going to put a GoFundMe link in the description to donate any money that you can possibly spare. A dollar, $10, whatever dollar amount, it would be incredibly, incredibly helpful for the coalition to actually fund this lawsuit. I mean, could you imagine this lawsuit of ours, the Vapors versus the FDA lawsuit going all the way to the Supreme Court? And we helped get it there. We we backed this. We're, we're suing the FDA. If any Vapors out there have ever wanted to be involved in advocacy or want to do something to actually initiate some big change in the world, this right here is abso freaking lootly the way to do it. Okay, so one last time. I'm going to put a link down in the description. Go fund me. Fund the suit. Give anything you can. And don't just give something and then call it good. Give something and share this. Spread this around. Post this on vape groups on Facebook pages. Post this on Instagram. Post this on Twitter. Talk about it on YouTube. Communicate this hashtag fund the suit campaign to as many people as you possibly can. Vapors, non-vapors, shops, distros, everybody. There are millions of vapors in the world. And law, I don't know the exact, obviously I don't know the exact number of vapors in the United States, but I'm guessing it's a lot. I'm guessing it's a bunch. And I'm guessing that all of these vapors in the United States could part with a dollar two bucks, five bucks, it will really, really help out and it will really, I mean, intensely go a long way. So at the risk of repeating myself or the risk of going on yet another rant, I'm just gonna end this. I'm gonna leave that there and I wanna say thank you Thank you for donating. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Thank you for taking the time to educate yourselves. I believe in vaping and I believe in the industry and I believe that we can do this. Let's take down the man. Well, you know what? We're gonna take down the man, all of us together, we're gonna take down the man. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Education is important, the facts matter. Share this around wherever you want to educate people. And one last time, link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's keep on vaping. I'm not sure why I did the finger guns there. It kind of worked, I'm going with it.